Welcome back to Mayo Clinic Radio. I'm Dr. Tom Shives. And I'm Tracy McRae. You know, Tracy, one of the consequences of aging is a decline in the immune system. You're not there yet, but... Hopefully someday. (laughs) That's right. Older Americans often don't respond as well to new or previously encountered infectious agents like influenza or like coronavirus. And the situation is actually made worse because older Americans, we don't respond as well to vaccinations as younger people do. Joining us on the phone from Mayo Clinic in Arizona to talk about aging and our immune system is immunology researcher Dr. Jessica Lancaster. Welcome to the program. Thank you very much. So good to talk. So good to talk to you, especially with the COVID nineteen outbreak, and so that has something to do, obviously, with the immune system. And if you could, before we we talk a little more in depth, explain in general terms what we mean by the immune system. Okay, uh, the immune system is a collection of different types of cells that are traveling through the blood and into our different body tissues. So um, they are constantly at work. So even when we are not actively sick, they're conducting surveillance. And what they're looking for is different particles that appear to be not of ourselves. Whether they're infections or toxins or cancer, the immune system, uh, when it's healthy, takes care of all of that. Mm -hmm. That's right. And um, so what happens is when we do find something that's foreign to the body, that is when certain cells will begin to sound an alarm, so to speak, and that's what will launch the immune response against it. So what happens to your immune system and that immune response as a person ages? Okay, so, um, well, to kind of describe more about what the immune response itself is, uh, what is happening is that the cells will initially detect the invader, and then that first wave of defense, uh, which we can call innate immunity, will start the process of inflammation. So. In this case, uh, inflammation is a good thing because it's letting the immune system know that something is wrong. And then after that, um, there are certain cells of the body that are very specialized against uh, different types of pathogens. And so these white blood cells um, that are specialized will go in and they will begin to clear out um, the pathogen and allow for recovery to begin afterwards. So what happens with aging, um, which uh, what we consider is Um, Starting around middle age, so about in the late 30s, we have our immune system. It's starting to slow down gradually, uh, but then when we reach the age of 65, the immune system is declining much more sharply. Does that mean it's not as good at doing its job, or what exactly does that mean? Yes, um, with the aged immune system, there's going to be a decreased overall strength of the immune response. So it's not going to be able to fight off pathogens as fiercely as it can do when it was a younger immune system. And not only is there like a decreased strength of the response, it also takes longer to clear the infection because all the different uh, components of the immune system can't talk together as clearly as before. So you will end up feeling uh, bad for much longer as your immune system is very slowly clearing out the the infectious agent. Now, I guess nothing works quite as well when you get a little bit older, but is it true that you are more susceptible to all kinds of different pathogens, so bacteria, viruses, cancer cells, all of them equally, or are you more susceptible in particular to a viral infection as you get older, let's say? Okay, well, um, I guess as we get older, what we are more susceptible are to, uh, we're more susceptible Let me start again. As we get older, uh, our immune system starts to produce fewer of new types of immune cells. So we're actually at a deficit against new and uh, novel pathogens that we hadn't encountered before in our life. The immune system is starting to stock up on immune cells that you can recall a previous disease that it has encountered because it's placing its bets that it's going to see the same pathogen again rather than something entirely new. So this would... um, apply for either bacteria or viruses, uh, but it's kind of more so for viruses because when you have this new virus, it can be more difficult for the aged immune system to be able to clear it, and that's going to open you up to uh, secondary infections, which usually are in the form of a, a bacterial infection. What makes the problem worse is that for some viruses, like the virus that causes COVID-19, um, the virus prefers to infect cells of the lungs. So the virus is hijacking lung cells in order to make copies of itself, and in doing so, it is rapidly destroying the lung cells. 
So if one has an aged immune system, it can take a lot longer to clear the virus. And by then, COVID-19 has already inflicted a lot of damage and perhaps destroyed the ability for the lung to function. We've learned, of course, during uh, the coronavirus, the COVID-19 outbreak uh, pandemic, that people who are age, aging and with chronic conditions also have a hard time. Um, so why do the chronic conditions um, affect your immune system? Okay. Uh, well, inflammation is a normal part of the immune response. So it is a signal that there's danger in the body and that it is now time for the immune system to fight. Uh, but what happens with a chronic condition is that it, it creates like a like almost a permanent state of inflammation. So the problem is that the danger is never actually cleared and the immune systems can never turn off that danger signal. So what happens with chronic illness is that even to some extent, this also occurs with normal aging, is that there's this level of inflammation that always persists as your disease is never uh, rectified, for example, for heart disease or for lung disease. And so since the signal is never turned off, it is really hard for the immune system to get primed up to launch a good immune response against a new threat. Just to kind of illustrate that, um, if you imagine that you were never allowed to have a good night's rest and instead there's an alarm always going off, you will have, to have, you will have a terrible time trying to wake up and do your job in the morning. And uh, immunologists use the same term of immune systems being exhausted, so meaning that they're unable to perform their function because they've been stimulated for too long. And so, in a sense, the aged immune response, since it has like these kind of persistent inflammatory signals, which are exacerbated even more when you have a chronic condition, uh, it could be a lot harder for it to kind of bring itself together and, and fight off a new attack. All right, if you have a healthy lifestyle, let's say you eat right and you exercise, um, do you still have an aged immune system or you can you slow that process down? So to some extent, the answer is yet, yes, you will have an aged immune system. So um, the coordination of the immune response requires this very tight communication among the cells and all these cells are spread out throughout the body. And the immune cells are being supported by all the structural cells of the different tissues and different organs of the body. Um, but as we age, the quality of these supportive cells are wearing out. And that means that the immune cells will have now a harder time to talk to each other. So unfortunately, you could be a, you know, a 70 year old marathon runner, but you can still be knocked down by a cold and need more recovery time. Sure. However, th that means that doesn't mean you shouldn't exercise because having a healthy lifestyle will be the best way to maximize what potential your immune system has. So even though it's not completely clear, aging is causing that low level of inflammation, which is lowering your immunity. But if you can reduce the level of inflammation by getting good night's sleep, by eating nourishing food and not overeating, and also by exercising, then you can reduce that impact of aging on your immune system. So those things that you just listed, getting good sleep, um, eating well, uh, even if you're not and you said middle age there. So even if you're not even in those categories, can you boost your immune system no matter what your age? Let's say that. Definitely. Uh, I, it's not going to be this kind of superfood leading to a, a rapid boost in the immune system that we would hope for, but it's kind of it's going to be in a very intangible way where if you can take good care of your health, then you're giving your immune system its best advantage that it can have. So by you know, getting proper sleep by uh, eating nourishing foods and also by not overeating because um, there are many studies that suggest that obesity and uh, metabolic diseases such as diabetes can also contribute to lower immunity. Uh, but by having good, healthy practices, then you're giving yourself the best immunity you can, um, no matter what age you're at. Where is research going? Is Are we going to be able to rejuvenate the immune system someday? So... Um, as far as rejuvenating the, um, the aged immune system, uh, there is some evidence out there that our bodies are not just wearing out and that's the final destiny uh, that we all have, but because there are some other animals that have great immunity throughout their life. So uh, what scientists have been starting to speculate is that, you know, perhaps we can find different cell signals that are kind of driving immune decline, and if we can target those, then perhaps we can improve the quality of, of life so that um, the elderly can live healthier lives and not just longer lives.
That's exciting. So, yeah, that's right. <laughs> we talked about a healthy diet, but one quick question about vitamins and supplements. Are there any out there that can help boost your immune system? Uh, well, it is, you know, very difficult to design a regimen that is one size fits all or to find certain foods because unlike a lab animal, we're all fairly individualized when it comes to our immune fingerprint. You know, we all have different genetics, different lifestyles, and we also have different um, bacteria that live in our gut that really can modulate what kind of benefits we can get from our food. I think the only thing that we can really say for sure is to just avoid overeating, avoiding um, onset of obesity and, and insulin resistance. Uh, but overall, it's really hard to say if certain special diets can really help us or alternative medicine. Well, we know there are lots of potential health issues as you get older, and one of those is an immune system that isn't quite as strong as it was when you were younger, and that means greater susceptibility to infections and even cancer. But researchers uh, like Dr. Lancaster are working hard on ways to rejuvenate our immune system, and we're hoping that happens sooner rather than later. Thanks so much, uh, Dr. Jessica Lancaster, Mayo Clinic, Arizona, immunology researcher. Thank you very much. Thanks, Dr. Lancaster.